Claudius was a kind of domestic drama about the most powerful family in the Western world. It's the story of um, an apparently semi-idiotic Roman aristocrat called Claudius. If that head of yours doesn't stop twitching, I'll have it off and stuck on a pole. That'll fix it. <laughs> Who, um, as a result of all kinds of miserable and uh, violent, vicious maneuverings, eventually finds himself in a position in which he is being made emperor of Rome. Senators, I understand you do not want another emperor, but it seems you have been given one. The decision to shoot I, Claudius, in the studio was an artistic one. It wasn't based on money. And there is an intensity and a concentration in a studio that you do not get, I feel, on locations. He believes that she poisoned our grandfather. He believes she will stop at nothing to ensure that Tiberius follows Augustus. He believes she's mad. We didn't get very good notices at first. And I said all that. <laughs> an out stuttery. Well, clearly. The fact that we were all in togas and doing very authentically Roman things, but talking in modern English, they found it very weird. What is the watchword for tonight, Caesar? What about... Give us a kiss. And then the critics, I think, started to realise the style of it. And then people caught on. How long have we been married? Don't you remember? Fifty years. And in all that time, you've never been able to tell one plant from another. And suddenly, you know all there is to know about pruning. Wonderful! You know, the, the things that work best on television are... the family. Well, and there, I think that was the fascination of it. To tell you the truth, I couldn't give a damn about Drusus and Nero. But they're your brothers! Oh, yes, I know. But then you don't like Aunt Lavilla. And she is your sister. Now I love my sisters, Uncle. Yes, I know. It is the king of soaps. It is what a soap should be. Quite a story, wasn't it?